What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I uh, want to talk today a little bit about my 2008 BMW M3. Uh, basically, I want to talk about things that I like. Um, definitely, I say there's at least three things that I really like about my BMW. At least three. So we'll start with three and see. My goal is uh, minimize. I can talk forever as far as BMW just because I really like these cars. Um, I know they're a little bit expensive to fix, but performance wise, they're very well made and very good uh, on tracks, uh, running them, at least from what I read. Of course, it depends where you read and what you read. You get different versions. That's the beautiful thing about this life. Everyone has an opinion on uh, what's good and what's bad. So anyway, this 2008 BMW M3 is a V8. It made these from 2008 till, if I am correct, this should be 2013. I think that's it. I think they made them for five years. If I'm wrong, you can always write and correct me. Um, I'm still learning about all these, all this stuff and how long they made this stuff. Anyway, um, it's a 2008. Uh, one of the things that I love the most is the fact that it's white. These cars are uh, really beautiful. And this white one here is pretty much uh, well cared for. I've owned this now for, I don't know, two years maybe, a year and a half somewhere around there. I don't always keep my cars very long, so, but this one, I don't know. I don't know how long I'll keep this one because I definitely want to change it up and get something different. Life's too short and uh, there's no point in uh, staying with the same thing over and over. So I pretty much drive them a while, get familiar with them a little bit. Um, don't always drive them a lot, but uh, I just like the feature that whenever I want to drive one, I have one, I can drive it. So there you have that. So anyway, so we'll go over a couple things that I want to point out that I love about this car. Things that I like, um, things that someone looking for a BMW, definitely uh, they perform very well. Uh, can't really talk very well today. So we're gonna grab this here. I'm gonna point out some things. First, we're gonna start with the fact that it's white. I love that. Um, this one is just, as you can see in person, I mean, it's just flawless and it's well cared, um, and it performs awesome. Sounds great. We'll turn it on for you guys to hear it. So, and I'm sure you've seen this. I think I've had this one in a video already. I took this one over to Cecil, um, and had it going down the track see what it does so I think it performed very well um, it's it's sporty but yet it's not like the R8 obviously but it does sound good and it drives down the road beautiful and it sounds shifts smooth so like I said first thing I love about this car is white um, the fact is easier to keep clean believe it or not white I know some people think it's not but black is the hardest one they say white's next, but I don't know. I'd rather have it white. This car is actually dusty, but in a way, if you see it right now, you can't tell. So next thing is the 19 inch wheels. Definitely a must. If you're gonna get an M3, get the 19 inch wheels. And, uh, and so this is another car that uh, for the most part, I wouldn't, just like the R8, I wouldn't wanna change the wheels. They just look good. I mean, I know there's a lot of beautiful aftermarket wheels. I, I just don't. I, I think sometimes some of these cars, just the way they came originally, you know, you can put 20s and 22s, and that's great, and it looks good. You can lower a little bit. The problem with that is then you sacrifice your ride, you'll sacrifice the performance, and you're also going to sacrifice the fact that whoever engineered this car um, engineered it this way. So. Like anything in this life, once you start changing things, 
then you start giving yourself other problems. Believe me, you know, that's just the way it works. So you definitely want to be careful what you actually do with these because sometimes small changes are okay. Sometimes too much of a drastic change will uh, cost you more problems down the road. Not always, I have to say that. But uh, like when I bought my R8, it had 20s. I think, yeah, it was 20s. It rode horrible. Horrible. I mean, I think a pebble would be on the road and that car, I would feel it. And that, that's, for me, that's not comfortable. I mean, I want it to be a performance and I want to feel the road, but not every single little thing just because I got a set of 20s. So I'm not against them. I've had it on other cars and it looks great and performed fine. But this is, uh, it's like a, you can take this on the track and run it and they perform, BMW really does perform awesome on the track. So, but anyway, with that said, so definitely uh, the color, love the wheels. Third thing I love about this car is the way the hood is designed with the vents, the bubble. Just gives it a very nice, slick, aggressive look, but not uh, too much. And then as you can see here, someone had to put a license plate on there. So I just didn't get around to putting another plate on it to uh, hide those holes on the car. So definitely the hood is a feature that I like about this car as well. Um, Fourth is the way the mirrors are designed. I mean, they're literally, this is wild because at the beginning, when I first got the car, I didn't pay attention. And then all of a sudden I looked and here, that's actually separated. And it's like, wow, that is the way it's supposed to be. But I thought somebody hit my mirror and broke it. No, nobody hit my mirror. That's just the way it's designed. So there you have that. And then uh, fifth is the carbon roof, carbon fiber for lighter, makes the car lighter and love the design. This one's in really pretty good shape. My uh, M6, which by the way, I sold that um, just because I, I ran out of room. I just, my driveway, I had to park like five cars every day and if I wanted one from inside I had to move literally three vehicles if not two but it was always at least minimum of two vehicles to get one out and that was just too much work too much time um, hard to keep clean the ones inside stay clean the ones outside I live out in the country and with uh, farmers and all that and the dust it makes it really hard to keep a car clean so with that said I pretty much sold the M6 that's gone uh, I'm sure something else will come to the channel. Guys will definitely uh, have to watch. I'm always getting something new, something different. Uh, basically, so the carbon roof. Awesome. So, now, I did say three, four, or five things, but I'm going to keep going a little bit. So, basically, I think if I'm correct, we're on uh, number four. So, we're going to go to, I think it's number four. Number five, who's counting? At this point, I should be counting. But, what was I gonna get at? I wanna see, start this car for you. This one has a uh, nab. Like I said, it's not like overly uh, fancy with all the jazz and the carbon fiber anywhere. Um, it doesn't have that. That's add-ons. You can do that. I choose not to. I pretty much choose to drive them for the most part the way they are. I do do modifications on them from time to time, but since I don't keep them often for long, you know, I just don't like to dump a lot of money in them. I just
just like to drive them, enjoy them. And then when I'm done, then I just sell them and get something new, something different. So there you guys got the uh, inside there. There is some, they did that on the wheel here. We're gonna look at the hood, or should I say under the hood. guys got it BMW V8 like I said they made them for a couple years these cars really hold their value this one's pretty tight as far as no big rattles or anything like that sometimes when they get a little older they start getting some rattles in some of the cars I haven't had that problem too much with BMW They have them that they don't work. They're just for looks. With this BMW, it's not for looks. It actually does work. So, shut this off here. So, there you have it. My 2008 BMW M3. And five, six things that I... Uh, like about it and I wanted everyone to know about if you are in the market to buy a BMW M just want to tell you buying them that's the problem I mean most people can afford these cars fixing them it's expensive you're looking at my 328 which I'll do a video on down the road it's just my uh, puts around car here and there uh, my son when he comes from the service he'll use it until uh, he gets his car and gets situated. And that car, I can fix it. It costs, let's say, $150 for a part. If I have to get the M fixed, it's 350, 300 to 350 for the same part, just because it's an M. So I do want you guys to know that. And obviously most of you probably already know that. So let me see, what else? Oh yes. And I just didn't want you guys to think that I, got rid of it because I didn't here you got the Supra and the slingshot which I already did a video on and there she sits just thought I'd mention that I haven't done much with that car uh, for the fact that uh, I got to order parts and I've been busy with work and um, I know I got to get motivated and I got to get this done so I will work on it. And as soon as I uh, get a chance, I'll do a video on that one and let you know when I get parts, I'll do videos that way you guys can keep track of it. That, that car is definitely will get done. I don't know when, um, you just have to be patient with me on that build for the simple fact is that I, I need help and assistance from people that have done it like uh, Ryan pure function he helps me a lot with this stuff um, and just the fact that it just takes money and it's summer and I'm traveling and I'm working so I'm not focusing as much on that car right now and uh, basically I'm just trying to save money for it to get the parts as I save money and I have the extra money I'll be buying the parts I'll be doing the video and then uh, you guys can follow up on that until we get that done. I will get that 700 horsepower to start. If I know me, 700 won't be enough. 700 is what I said I was gonna do. I'm gonna do that to start with. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. And um, hope you enjoy the video on the M3. And if you subscribe, thank you. If uh, you haven't and you like the content, definitely subscribe from Life on Wheels 717. Take care. Talk to you guys soon.